We're almost done with our series on low and mid-level robot vacuums, and today we're reviewing the iLife V3S. We put it through all of our usual tests, and despite it being the cheapest robot vacuum we've tested yet, there were some pleasant surprises. Links in the description for current prices, as well as links to all the other reviews in this series, and let's get started. iLife is a fast-growing robot vacuum company with a lot of high-end versions, but the V3S is one of their cheapest models. One of the main things that separates it from the next step up, the A4S, which I'll also link below, is that it does not have a standard brush roll, but instead just a suction port. This means that the V3S is only meant to be used for hard floors and very low pile carpets. And while it did decently on carpets in our tests, as we'll see, it really should only be considered if you have mostly hard floors in your home. That being said, it's really good with hard floors. It has a lot of power, which is really important for hard floors. We measured its airflow at 16.4 CFM on its one power setting, so just a touch under some of the most expensive robot vacuums in the market, like the Roomba 980 or the new Roomba i7. I was really surprised to see this very inexpensive robot dominate the crevice pickup test. In fact, it was the first robot vacuum I've ever seen to clear all the debris. Even really expensive models barely make a dent here. I chalk this up primarily to the suction-only design. It did scatter debris around a bit with its two very large side brushes, maybe a little more than with the Roombas and similar robots, but not by much. And it did pick up all the debris in the test, from fine debris to pet hair to extra large debris. In general, I was very impressed with its hard floor performance, at least for a vacuum in this price range. As I mentioned, I don't recommend this vacuum for carpets, but it did do better than I was expecting on our low pile carpet test, picking up a good portion of the debris, though it did seem to have trouble with pet hair on carpet. Our carpet deep clean test may be a little unfair, since without a brush roll it's severely handicapped, but it did only pick up 30% of the sand in our deep clean test, which is the lowest score I've ever seen, and by quite a bit. One area where it did really well was with its edge cleaning. Here again it beat all the others in this series with its two extra long side brushes. As far as navigation, it's no surprise that at this price it's a random navigation bot, meaning that it randomly bounces around to clean rooms. In general, it was as good as expected, but much like the similarly priced D-Bot N79, it had a few missed spots, especially around the charger, but this is the nature of random bots, and they typically will get the missed spots in the second attempt. The battery life is really good. iLife says it can get between 90 and 110 minutes per charge, depending on the terrain, which is extremely good. But like most robot vacuums in this price range, it will basically keep running until its battery life is almost depleted before it returns to the charger. The V3S is so far the only robot vacuum we have tested in this series that does not have an app to download, which isn't a huge deal as you can schedule cleanings on the remote or change modes. For example, it has an edge cleaning mode or a spot mode where it cleans in a spiral pattern or it has directional buttons in case you want to direct it towards a spot it keeps missing. A few negative things are that the dust bin is extremely small. We measured it at around a half a cup, which is the smallest I've ever seen. It's also kind of a pain to empty as it has a screen that you have to remove first. Another issue is that it doesn't come with any barriers like magnetic tape to keep it from going into areas that you don't want it to, so unless you have a clutter-free house you may find it getting stuck a lot more than usual. It doesn't do good with black carpet as the drop sensors think it's a cliff, but almost no robot vacuum vacuums can clean black carpet either, and since you probably won't be using this for carpet anyway, it's not a big deal. So I would say the best thing about the iLife V3S is the price. It has a lot of power and battery life. It's pretty good at cleaning hard floors and edges, but if you have carpets or need a bigger dustbin, I would recommend checking out the other vacuums in this series. We only have one more vacuum in this price range to test before a big competition, so be sure to subscribe to Vacuum Wars. Links in the description to the V3S for prices and reviews, and new videos every Tuesday and Friday at 4 p.m. Eastern, and thanks for watching.